Hello, everyone. It's Scott Silva Bell coming to you live from the North Shore of Oahu. It's 9:45, December 1st, 2014. Thought we'd do some sales training from the beach. Now, I want to specifically talk to you about rejection. And one of the things that happens in the rejection process is when you, as the salesperson, start taking ownership of the problem of the buyer. Now, you have to remember that it's not your problem, it's not your money, it's not your budget. And when you have more buy-in than what you need, it creates some challenges. And in your head, you start saying, well, you know, this is what needs to happen. No, the problem is not yours. We're gonna push that away. The problem is on the buyer. The problem is on them. And they have to own it, they have to deal with it, they have to wanna fix it. And you can't wanna fix their problem more than they do because then that leads to neediness. So the th second thing in this process is neediness. When you need to make a sale, when you need to make the money, when you need to make that commission, it leads to a feeling when you walk away from that sales call that, oh my goodness, I got rejected, okay? So the first thing is, when you go through the process and you're talking with the people, you gotta make sure that the problem is theirs and not yours. The second thing is you, you as a salesperson can't be needy. And then the third thing is, is when, when you have to make that quick sell, you tend to discount really quick and it creates a lot of challenges and it leads to a sped up presentation. And then when somebody does a sped up presentation, what happens is they usually feel bad about not doing their job. So it's not that they were rejected, they have this guilt. And this guilt hit sets in and kicks it in their stomach and freaks them out. And they feel guilty about not doing what they were supposed to on their sales call. And sometimes it feels like it was rejection, but it's really guilt in the sales process. Now these are the three main things that are gonna lead to rejection. You wanting it more than the buyer, speeding up through the process and being needy are all bad things. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story about rejection in the sales process. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. Subscribe. And then send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Scott Silvan Bell. Only Scott Bell will Silvan Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.